Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on our ISTQB AI tester certification. We are getting started with a brand new chapter today which is chapter 5 ML functional performance matrices and here we will talk about all sort of matrices related to performance of an ML model or algorithm used by the ML model and here we do have different topics to cover of course we have confusion matrix additional ML function performance matrix which includes uh, for the classification regression and clustering we do have limitation of ML functional performance matrices to understand what could be lacking there and selection of ML performance matrices which is uh, certainly how do you decide what to select and what not and setting up the benchmarks for the ML test suites. So put together you have a lot of topics to be covered in this particular session and uh, we'll be getting started today with 5.1 confusion matrix which will certainly give you a quick overview of what it takes to measure the effectiveness of an ML model. In order to talk about confusion matrix, first of all, why the name confusion? It certainly creates a confusion for us that why should I call it as a confusion matrix? Uh, basically, it's a very common thing because it helps you to identify what's the confusion the ML model is having, right? Of course, the definition will come along once we understand the table. So right here, in a classification problem, a model will rarely predict the results correctly all the time. For any such problem, a confusion matrix can be created with the following possibilities. Now, if you see this table represent two important things. One is the predicted, which the ML model is reflecting, and the actual, of course, what is like anticipated versus the real one. So predicted is, uh, of course, the expected, and actual is the actual as usual. So more importantly, predicted, we do have two outcomes that we expected positive outcome here and we expected a negative outcome here. And similarly, the actual one has positive and negative. Now, if both are positive, which means expected is equal to actual, it turns out to be true positive. If in case you expected to go right, but the actual is wrong, you call it as false positive right which goes in our very simple fashion of saying any oddities as false positive same way if the predicted was that it should not detect this or say something other way around which is like negative outcome but the actual was positive of course it's called as false negative and neg negative negative is referred to as true negative getting used to these terms will certainly take a bit of time but you will get used to it or if you're already working you certainly make use of these matrices it pretty much makes sense right also to add here now why do we call it as confusion matrix is not because of naming convention it certainly helps you to understand the confusion in the ml model algorithm of course if an algorithm is able to visualize things and make the right decisions or not if the numbers are representing that the ML model algorithm is unable to read or understand what we have trained it with, it certainly will result into confusions and those different outcomes are what we refer to as the confusion. Right? Of course, the matrix then will be referred to as confusion matrix. I hope that makes sense now that why exactly this matrix is referred to as confusion. The greater the number of false positive and uh, false negative, it certainly turns out to be a confusion for the ML model, which is more of like a human mind, right? So we look forward to fine tune the algorithm or look forward to have another algorithm which would give us the better results. Note that the confusion matrix shown here may be presented differently, but will always represent or generate the values for the four possible situation that is true positive represented in short as TP, true negative as TN, false positive as FP, and false negative as FN. Adding further, how exactly confusion matrix help us to calculate the different other matrices? So based on confusion matrix, uh, the following matrices are defined, which we have it as accuracy, precision, recall, and F1 score. Now, to evaluate, the major important thing here is, of course, the F1 score. And in order to evaluate F1 score, we need precision and we need recall. But again, in order to get the recall and precision, I certainly do talk about accuracy. So number one is accuracy, which is calculated as 
tp plus tn which is true positive plus true negative divided by sum of all that is tp plus tn plus t fp plus fn and then multiplying this entire thing into 100 which will give you the percentage of the accuracy now accuracy here is measuring measures the percentage of all correct classifications so of course the uh, true positive and true negative are being taken into account across all the numbers so these are basically the number of counts which you basically have the results as different talking about the precision which is side by side along with accuracy the precision is measured as tp which is true positive divided by true positive plus false positive multiplied by 100 now precision basically measures the proportion of positives that were correctly predicted it is a measure of how sure one can be about positive predictions so this is on the positive side of the ml model which predicts what exactly is right accurately talking about recall which is on the other side of it of course recall is measured as tp divided by tp plus fn which is false negative and multiplied by 100 percent recall also known as sensitivity it measures the proportion of actual positives that were predicted correctly it is basically a measure of how sure sure one can be about not missing any positive so it's just like other direction like making sure that everything is very very to the point and being given as the right recollection so put together precision and recall can be combined together to get to the f1 score so f1 score is measured as 2 multiplied by precision multiplied by recall over precision plus recall which is summation of precision and recall and puts together gives you the f1 score now f1 score is the final measure which is computed as harmonic mean of the precision and recall it will have a value between 0 and 1 a score close to 1 indicates that false data has little influence on the result and a low f1 score which is towards the 0 suggests that the model is poor at detecting positives so put together there are several such matrices which we'll be looking forward to understand but right now this is the most fundamental thing one should know about evaluations of the ml algorithms whether it is suited for your purpose or not if in case the fn score is low you know what exactly you need to do you need to fine tune your algorithms and look forward to have it improved on the other side of it towards the one so put together these are a few of the confusion matrix understanding what one should learn about and be aware of that so that's all from this particular tutorial team we'll be looking forward to continue with our next tutorial in next segment so should you have anything else feel free to comment below i'm always there to address your queries and answer them well till then keep learning keep exploring keep understanding the context thanks for watching the video team and happy learning